today on sport news today triple spade as rangers legend and scotland wembley hero rune mckinnon dies at age 83. tributes have been paid to former rangers and scotland player rune mckinnon following his death at age 83. The defender, who spent 12 years playing for the Ibro side between 1960 and 1972, was part of Scott Simon's team, which won a historic treble in the season 1963 treble winning side, and his Ibro's career was ended by a leg break in Lisbon in 1971. Making his debut for the club as a 20 year old, McKinnon would make almost 500 first team appearances and help the girls win two league titles four Scottish Cups, three League Cups, and was later inducted into the Hall of Fame. In his last game for the Govan Out, he broke his leg in a win over Portuguese side Sporting Lisbon in the Cup Winners' Cup second round and missed out on the club winning the trophy in Barcelona at the end of that season. McKinnon also earned 28 international caps and he was part of the 1967 Scotland team who famously defeated newly crowned world champions England, defeating them 3-2 at Wembley to win the British Home Championships. His twin brother Donny was a professional footballer who spent 14 years at Patrick Tisto. Rangers shared the news of his passing on Sunday evening and paid their own tribute. A club statement posted on the social media read, Everyone associated with Rangers Football Club is certain to learn of the passing of former players Rooney McKinnon at the age of 83. The club extends sympathy to Elizabeth, his widow and his family. The family requests that their privacy is respected at this sad time. The club will pay further tribute to Mr. McKinnon in due course. Rangers supporters offer their condolences with one fans commenting, when you discuss true legends, Ronnie McKinnon is right up there, a commanding center half, sharp and precise in the tackle and dominant in the air. Had he not taken the misfortune to play at the same time as Billy McNeil, he would have amassed many more than 28 caps for Scotland. Thank you and that's all for Sport News.